There are a number of indications to mark or tattoo lesions during colonoscopy. First of all, experienced endoscopists very typically can predict the presence of cancer by the appearance of lesions. These uh, lesions, of course, should be tattooed. If polypectomy is performed on smaller lesions that appear to have the potential uh, for cancer or when we're removing them piecemeal and need to follow them up later for effective resection, then tattooing should be considered. So those cancer features would be morphologic changes like ulceration or changes in the surface pattern, such as disruption of the vascular pattern, features that are captured uh, in the type 3 NICE classification or the type 5-6 of the KUDO uh, classification. When we're performing EMR or ESD and we need to do later follow-up, tattooing the site is appropriate. Lesions that are very difficult to detect to facilitate their later detection by by you or by a different endoscopist. And then finally, areas of dysplasia, either obvious or potential, uh, should be considered for marking when they're encountered during IBD surveillance. These are some instances where tattooing or marking may not be necessary, at least in my opinion. For example, lesions anywhere in the colon under two centimeters in size that don't have any endoscopic features to suggest cancer, and especially if they were removed on block, I don't think need to be tattooed. Similarly, lesions that are in the cecum, certainly for endoscopic follow-up, everybody should know that they're in the cecum. The cecal landmarks are 100% reliable in identifying the cecum. And I would add to this lesions that are in the proximal ascending colon. When you can take a photograph that shows the lesion and the ileocecal valve in the same photograph, that serves as an excellent uh, record for later endoscopic follow-up. Now, an exception to this comment about the cecum and the proximal ascending colon would be if you have a cancer and your surgeon likes for the lesion to be marked because there is some evidence that marking makes it easier to identify lymph nodes in the surgical specimen. My surgeons don't uh, seem to worry about that. So if I tell them that a lesion is in the cecum of the proximal ascending colon, the patient needs a right hemicolectomy that's proven to be completely uh, reliable. Marking is extra work, but everybody benefits when appropriate lesions are marked. First of all, for the colonoscopist, it saves time at future procedures. Make sure that you're reviewing the same lesion. If you're referring to another endoscopist, very helpful to make sure that they're going to deal with the same lesion that you were referring the patient for. And of course, it provides a confident, reliable method to communicate the lesion location to the surgeon, much better than naming a particular uh, segment, particularly if you're not near the cecum, you're not in the rectum, then there can be some uncertainty about what segment you're in, and tattooing is more uh, effective than a verbal description of where the lesion is. For the surgeon, it's critical, especially during laparoscopic surgery, for locating the lesion, and it's also uh, cost effective. It's been shown in a couple of studies that the operating time is shorter because the lesion is found uh, more quickly, more reliably. Operating room time is very expensive. From the patient's perspective, of course, it improves safety, particularly it prevents wrong site, wrong segment uh, resection, and thus improves the quality of care. It's critical that everyone understands that the contrast agents we use for submucosal injection, such as indigo carmine and methylene blue during the resection process, are very short-lived. They don't create a permanent mark or uh, tattoo, and they're not effective for that purpose. Similarly, endoscopic clips aren't reliable because they can fall off. Carbon black is really the ideal marking or tattooing agent because it creates a permanent mark. Of the two sources of carbon black for submucosal injection, India ink and spot, the problem with India ink is that it's got a variety of other immunologically active substances in it that have been associated with rare complications, primarily sterile abscesses and other inflammatory reactions, whereas spot contains only carbon black. It doesn't have other immune active substances. It's also FDA approved as a medical device. So spot is really the carbon black source of choice for endoscopic marking. 